Hey guys, Todd Helms with Wingmen by Eastman's Hunting Journals out here today to bring you a quick review on the Lupo Bridger Performance Eyewear. Hey, while I got you here, drop down, punch that subscribe button, leave us a comment, let us know what else you want to see, and make sure you're checking us out on all of our social media feeds, Instagram, Facebook, and the Wingmen podcast. I've had some amazing guests with great conversations over the last year and a half on the podcast. We're sitting about 60, almost 70 episodes now. And you're missing out if you're not listening to it. You can find it anywhere that you get your podcasts. All right, so back to this review on the Leupold Bridger sunglasses. These things, Leupold's been making performance eyewear, and I know I just call them sunglasses. They're really performance eyewear. And this is why, this is what makes them performance eyewear instead of like cheap sunglasses. It's the performance packed features that Leupold builds into all of the entire lineup of their performance eyewear, but especially the Bridgers. The Bridgers are unique in the fact that they have a flatter lens design. It's called a six base curve lens design. And what it does is it helps protect you from frontal impact. Say I'm on the skeet field or a sporting clays course and I'm breaking, breaking clay targets. It's think station eight for you guys that shoot skeet and I get shrapnel from a clay target. I get debris, boof, and it hits me in the face. This flat lens design of the Bridgers is going to help deflect and keep stuff out of my eyes where a more wraparound design, it's gonna slide off more. It could, it could hit parts of my face, my ears, whatever that may be. This flat six base curve of the Bridgers is gonna keep that shot bouncing off instead of bouncing or sliding around. It's gonna bounce right off. And so it's gonna protect my eyes. That is what makes these more than sunglasses. These are performance eyewear. The Bridger is designed for competitors. Guys that are competing in the sporting clays course or the ski field or the trap field, or maybe you're into three gun or you're into Whatever it might be, the Bridger's designed for the competitive shooter. I have put them to use up in Canada just recently. That's the only hunt that I've had them on because I got them in the summertime and I went right into fall. I shot over the course of the summer with them and they were great. I wore them fishing, I wore them around town. They've performed flawlessly for me. I haven't had anything smack off my face. Knock on wood, I won't have that happen. But it's nice to know that if it does, the Leupold Bridgers have my back and are gonna keep me safe. Let's talk about some of the product features that the Bridger shares with the rest of the performance eyewear category that Leupold produces. First up is the Daylight Max that the Bridgers and all the performance eyewear use. And what it does is it cuts through that UV. It makes a sight picture with the lens that everything pops in my vision. I'm wearing the matte black shadow gray flash version of the Bridgers today and it's kind of cloudy. Because of the Daylight Max lens, I'm not sacrificing clarity. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm too dark. If I was hunting right now or competitive shooting and this was what I had on, I wouldn't be hindered at all. I'd still be able to see everything. My contrast is really sharp and I'm fully protected. Working in tandem with that flat curve of the lens is the diamond coat finish and that makes these things hard it's really scratch proof i've been a fly fishing guide for 15 years as well as working for eastman's and developing wingmen i've worn a lot of different sunglasses you name it i've probably worn it the leupold's hands down with that diamond coat finish are the most scratch resistant that i've ever worn I'm not easy on my stuff. I drop it. It, slide, it gets kicked around on my drift boat. I have three little kids. Stuff gets tossed around, gets knocked off of countertops. It's thrown on the ground, gets rolled around. I have not had a scratch on my Leupolds yet. And that's saying a lot. I'm, I've been impressed with that diamond coat. One of the other really unique features about the Leupold Performance Eyewear, the Bridger in particular, is the infused polarization. What that means is there's the, lay, the polarization layer is sandwiched between layers of the lens. So it's not gonna peel, it's not gonna scratch, it's not going to be compromised over time. And like I said, I wear these on the water all the time, all summer long, throughout the fall, throughout the winter, both fishing and waterfowling. 
it is so nice to have a high quality set of polarized eyewear that not only has my back protection wise, but performs when I need to see what's in that water. Speaking of water and dirt and mud and dust, the guard ion lens coating that Leupold uses on the Bridgers and all of the rest of their performance eyewear as well is hydrophobic. And what that means is it beads up water. Water doesn't stick to these lenses. It beads up, rolls off. I can literally pull these off and go and blow the water right off the lens. It doesn't, you don't get water spots on these. I don't, dust doesn't stick to these either, which is really nice out in environments like this. Say I'm, say I'm hunting sage grouse, for example, and it's dusty and it's dry. I, by the end of the day, most eyewear is going to be, have a coating or a film of dust on it. I haven't noticed that with, with the Leupold performance eyewear, especially the Bridgers. The stuff, I think it's maybe the flat lens, but it's definitely that guard ion coating and I don't know if they say it Guardion or Guard Ion, however it's said, I just know that it works. These frames are also RX ready, they're prescription ready. If you wanted to make these prescription, you could, which Leupold's thinking ahead on that. All the Leupold Performance Eyewear has a lifetime guarantee. If you break them, if you do happen to scratch them, send them in, they'll replace them or they'll fix them. More than likely, they're just gonna box up a new set and send them to you guys. When you spend a good chunk of change on a set of performance eyewear like these, it's nice to know that they have a warranty, they have a guarantee, something happens, they've got your back. Not all sunglass companies do that. So guys, I've worn three different types of the Leupold Performance Eyewear now, and the Bridger is the latest iteration for me, and the first thing that I noticed when I put them on is how light they are. These are a very slim design, very trim and slim, and that flat front, at first I was like, man, I don't, I'm not sure I'm gonna like that, because I like, I've always preferred more of a wraparound design like their Switchback model, for example. But, I thought, well, I'm gonna try it. I've gotta do the review, that's part of it. You gotta wear them, you gotta test them, try them out so you can actually speak to what they are all about. And I wore them end of July, all through August, and it's we're three quarters of the way through September right now, and I put them on through the paces in Canada on waterfowl hunts and uh, on a bear hunt, and I've worn them fishing all, all late summer, playing around, running around town, and I've been pleasantly surprised. I was not prepared to like this design, the way it looks on my face, the way it felt, but I did my due diligence, I gave it time, and the Bridgers won me over, so much so that I haven't worn my switchbacks now in, oh man, probably over a month. I, I just grabbed the Bridgers. They're, they're light, they're, they feel good on my face. I honestly forget that I'm even wearing them. And I think they look pretty good. If they can make this look okay, <laughs> they're doing, Leupold's doing something really special. So that is my review on the Bridger Performance Eyewear, guys. I've run down through all the features for you which you can get at loophole.com as well. But don't just take my word for it. Go out, try on a pair, try on all the different styles, but look hard at the Bridgers. Like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to like these sunglasses, and I've been very pleased. They're very comfortable, very light on my face, and they work. There were several times in Canada where we were set up kind of looking in the sun, Man, it would have been really, with any other sunglasses that I've worn over the years, even some of the high-end ones, I would have really struggled. But the Leupolds really are what they claim to be, and I've been super impressed, and I think you will be too if you check them out. So, go give them a hard look. Look at the Bridgers. I think you'll like them. Thanks for watching today. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.